Hey friends, I hope you're doing well today. It is time for us to get back to our morning mindset for today. Today we'll be looking at Proverbs 15 verses 16 through 17. So if you have a Bible handy, please flip to that page. I would love for you to look at the scripture yourself. I also want to remind you, we have many resources and uh, merchandise options available that you can choose from to help you express your faith and to share the morning mindset with others. There's stickers, there's hats, there's t-shirts, there's all kinds of stuff. You can check it out at carrygreen.com, C-A-R-E-Y, green like the color, dot com slash merch, M-E-R-C-H, short for merchandise. All right, here we are looking at Proverbs 15, verses 16 through 17. This passage kind of gives us a tweak to our thinking. And I think in the cultures in which we live often, the kind of tweak that Solomon's going to give us today is very much needed because we tend to think of life in terms of, I don't know, categories, this category being better than that category. And of course, in all of life, that is true. But what we put into those categories and how we define the categories really makes a load of difference. Because let me give you some examples. If we said uh, wealthy versus poor, we all would say, well, of course, I would rather be wealthy. That is a uh, better place for me to be because I'll have more resources. I would not be lacking food. I, I would not have to struggle for clothing. I wouldn't have trouble paying my bills. And we fill the category with meaning based on the benefits that it would bring. If you look at the other side of it, poor we see that all of those things just mentioned would be difficult. And that is just how we think as human beings. But I think sometimes we don't recognize that the contrast we make and the contrasting category we set up against a given category is the wrong contrast to make. And that's what Solomon helps us see today. Let's read Proverbs 15, verses 16 through 17. He says, Better is a little with the fear of the Lord then great treasure and trouble with it. So look at what Solomon's doing there. He's adding something else to the category. And he's saying, if you had this along with the category, it would make all the difference in how that category is received and experienced in your life. So specifically, he says, better is a little. So that's on the side of being poor, right? Better is a little with the fear of the Lord which is obviously a beneficial attitude for us to have. It's, we're told that in Proverbs over and over. He says, so that state of being is better than great treasure, that's the wealth side of things, and trouble with it. So the point of this phrase is that fearing the Lord changes everything. It doesn't matter if your circumstance is a negative one. If you maintain the fear of the Lord, which is honor, respect, submission to his ways, agreeing in your heart that he is God, he is Lord, and he calls the shots. If you maintain that attitude, you can endure something like poverty quite well. You can endure a time of of need quite well. And all the great treasure in the world is not really your answer. Your answer is something you already have, and that is this attitude of fearing the Lord. And the next phrase in verse 17 says, Better is a dinner of herbs, where love is, than a fattened ox and hatred with it. So he's really laying out before us two different parties, two two different dinner parties. One of them only has herbs. It's not much. Uh, There's, there's, you know, a vegan sort of a meal, but it's very sparse, it sounds like. And he says the other has this fattened ox, and you can just picture this lavish table that's been spread. And he says that first dinner that is on the sparse side is better if love is there and all the people around the table love each other, care for each other. There's harmony and there's a joy of being together. But if that other with the fattened ox is going on and there's animosity and hatred and bitterness there, Man, you'd much rather have the small meal, but the more healthy relationships. You see, this tweaking of our mindset helps us to recognize that if we value the things that God values, like love, like the fear of the Lord, then our circumstances really take on a whole new perspective. 
Jesus, fill us up with your perspective about life and the circumstances we face. Show us how to value what you value. Show us how to be your people by demonstrating those values in the way we speak, in the way we act, in our responses to the difficult times of life. Make us lights in this dark world that we can have an impact and see our culture shift toward a kingdom mindset and be progressively brought into your kingdom through the power of the gospel that changes lives. It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen.